XML of what your site looks like. So I already have defined that in these files right here. I've got five ASPX pages that are empty as well as the web site map. So let me bring these in. So we have um, again this change password, create account, these are just placeholder pages and they look pretty much just like the default page. What's interesting is the web site map. This is an XML representation of a hierarchical view of our site and the reason why I have all these placeholders is because the site map syntax when it's interpreted requires you to actually have all these pages um, or they can't all point to the same empty or default page. So we have uh, kind of a three layer arbitrary menu structure or layout here with manage accounts down the bottom. We have an admin page um, and a few other pages. Actually I didn't bring in the admin page. Oh, That's good. I can show you another way to create child pages. If you right click on the master page I can just choose add content page. Now you don't get the name you want so just go and rename that to admin and I'll put in some text and say this is the admin main page. Now we have something a little more substantial. Now we need to use the site map. The way we do that is to drag, let me get rid of the menu text, we drag a tree view control. I could use the menu but I like the way the tree view looks better with our hierarchical data. And uh, let me attach it to a data source. So we have attach it to our site map and that's going to look for a file called web.sitemap. And notice there's our uh, syntax, our, our hierarchy. And I'm going to change it to, you can see there's lots of different formatting in here. I'll use arrows too. And then finally I'm just going to drag this little uh, runtime control down here. Great. Now using that same sitemap, we have another feature called the sitemap path. This is like the little breadcrumb control you get at the uh, and, and websites. Um, all I have to do is drag that on and you know what, I need to make one change to that image control in order to get it to align correctly. Um, this took me about an hour to figure out, but align equals absolute middle. By putting that on the image tag, my site map will align perfectly with that. Okay, so let's hit refresh and see how this looks. Ah, that's looking a lot better. So we have our login page. Now, oh, that's a little funny. So we have some another kind of painting or HTML issue. Um, this is just what you get when you're dealing with HTML. You have to make lots of little tweaks. I happen to know that that behavior is caused by this guy right here. It needs to be set to 100%. If I go back and hit refresh, that looks a lot better. Okay, um, the f so notice now when I click down at the top our little sitemap path is showing we showing us where we are. This is really useful if you have a lot of pages and you want users to be able to easily understand where they are in your overall hierarchy. Um, I don't like the default behavior of this menu. Notice when I click on an item it shifts over to the left a little bit. Um, we have a lot of control over the way this is styled. If we go back to the master page and bring up the properties for this menu, at the very bottom we have all these different styles. So for instance, the selected style, remember when I clicked on it, it scooted over to the left? That's because they've hard-coded zero pixels there. Uh, likewise, I want it to be bold instead of underlined. And when I'm hovering over one of the menu items, I'm going to use this cool trick where you set the background color equal to yellow so it looks highlighted. And I'll turn off the underlines. Let's see how all, the, all those changes look. Refresh. Ah, much better. Great. So that is uh, that's master pages. Now we're going to use the same content for the membership and roles uh, video. So let's save the whole thing as a template. So we export this whole project as a template. Call it master pages, and I'll Visual Basic. And mm, I think this is fine. I'll call it the master pages demo. Great. So later we'll use this zip file and copy it. You can see it's already in my uh, templates folder. Later we, later we can create a new website based on that master pages template. So if you want to learn more about how we fill out this with real content where you can change your password and log in, watch the membership and roles video. So as you've seen, master pages are a great place to put common content for all your web pages.